Hey everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video, and today we're going to be doing another edition of what I am thinking. Now, for those of you that are new to my channel or know nothing about this video series, basically this is a sit-down blog series where I talk about, well, you guess it, whatever I'm thinking. It can be about politics, world events, stuff happening in the news. But chances are it's going to be about comic books, video games, movies, stuff that is geek related. And in saying that, what am I going to be talking about today? Well, I'm going to be talking about Before Watchmen. Now, for those of you that don't know about Before Watchmen or don't know anything about Watchmen at all, let me give you a little bit of information. Watchmen is a comic that was done during the mid-80s by Alan Moore, and it is a comic that, some say, revolutionized the comic book industry. It was released by DC Comics, and it was really kind of a look on the uh, world of superheroes through a much darker tone and much darker light. And it brought about what many consider the darker stories in comic books. Now, whether or not you agree with that or you disagree with that is up to you. Um, some people say that if Watchmen didn't happen, something else would have happened. Putting all that aside, one thing is certain, and that is Watchmen was a huge success in a fantastic comic. It is a great, beautiful, well-done story with flushed-out characters in a very well-established universe. So, what DC Comics wants to do... 20 plus years later, is release comics that take place in the Watchmen universe that are pretty much prequels. Comics that take place before Watchmen. Now, this is something DC Comics has been wanting to do for quite some time, ever since Watchmen became a huge success. However, due to copyright and ownership laws of the Watchmen, uh, problems that they had with Alan Moore, they haven't really been able to actually go about and do this. But now that everything's out of the way, they are going out and doing this. They are doing Before Watchmen. Now, a lot of fans in the comic book world are kind of torn on this. You know, some fans are for this. They think it's a great idea that we're going to add to the Watchmen universe, a universe that they love so much with characters that they love so much, and that in the end it's not going to change the fantastic ending from Watchmen. On the other hand, we have fans that are absolutely upset about this, that they're just doing this for money, that they're going to ruin Watchmen, they're going to tarnish a comic that they love so much. Where do I stand? Well, we're going to talk about that today. So, first and foremost, let's talk about the big elephant in the room. Why is DC Comics doing this? Well, DC Comics is doing this for the same reason that anyone else would, to make money. To make profit. While I believe that DC Comics does want to pull off good comics and based off the uh, writers and artists that they put on these comics, you can definitely tell that they're bringing their A game. First and foremost is DC Comics is doing this to make money. That is something people have to understand. That's what anyone does anything for in a comic book company is to make money. Comic book companies like Marvel, DC, IDW, Image, Dark Horse, they may love their fans, but money, staying afloat, survival, that's something that's important. So, make no mistake, despite whatever my feelings may be about Before Watchmen, whether I'm for it or against it, one thing we know is that DC is doing this to make money. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Just because their intentions is to make money doesn't mean that they don't have other intentions to make good stories. Or it doesn't mean that the stories are going to be bad. The stories could be fantastic. Everything is done to make money. The big crossover event that you're reading right now, and Marvel maybe, what is it, X-Men versus Avengers? That is to make money. It's not selfish, it's not mean, it's just what comic book companies and companies in general do. They need to make money to stay afloat. So now we put that aside, let's talk about how I feel about Before Watchmen. Now for me, Watchmen was a great comic that was very self-contained, that had a very flushed out characters and flushed out universe. And the one thing that I always said that I never wanted to see is what would happen 
after Watchmen. Because at the end of Watchmen, there is an ending which can go in two directions. It's left open for the reader to interpret. I'm not going to reveal the ending to uh, you guys because there's some people out there that haven't read Watchmen or haven't seen the movie or haven't divulged in this universe. And that's all well and good. I don't want to spoil anything for them. So, the one thing I didn't want was a Watchmen comic that would show what happened at the end of Watchmen that would tell us which ending is the ending that did go down. That is not what I wanted at all. However, that's not what this is. This is a prequel comic. These are comics that take place before Watchmen. So in saying that, how do I feel about a prequel comic? Well, the great thing about prequels most prequels. Uh, I'm looking at you Star Wars prequels. The great thing about most prequels is that you can have the prequel and it doesn't affect the story too, too much. The story that they're prequel of. And you can even say that about the Star Wars prequels. See, as a Star Wars fan, and I am a humongous, humongous Star Wars fan, I dislike the prequels greatly. But despite how horrible those prequels are. They do not take away anything from the original trilogy that I love. Nothing at all. Sure, it does ruin Darth Vader a little, but for the most part, my original trilogy is untouched. I still love it as much as I did when I was an 11 year old kid. Nothing has changed. So, prequels can be told without actually affecting the original source material. Now there are times when prequels can affect the original source material, but can before Watchmen really affect the Watchmen comic? Hearing about stories of Rorschach going around beating up criminals before he goes lunatic and insane, does that really ruin what you get in Watchmen? I believe, and this is all coming from an opinion, of someone that has not read before Watchmen because it has not come out yet, I believe that it could work out. Now, see, a lot of people are right away saying, this is a bad idea, I'm going to boycott DC, this is horrible. Even one of my friends said, no, this is wrong, this is going to go bad. The comics aren't released. You have not read the comics. How do you know how the comics are going to turn out? A lot of times, people bash on things before they actually get a chance to experience it. The latest um, example I can give you is Batwing. When Batwing, a DC New 52 comic, came out, a lot of people said that they weren't going to pick it up for multiple reasons. It was a bad idea and it was going to be horrible. But Batwing has turned out to be one of the best of the DC New 52. It's critically acclaimed and well-loved by reviewers and fans alike. So, to judge before Watchmen before it comes out, mm, that's doing a disservice to Watchmen itself. You do not know how this is, so why are you going to go up in arms about it? And chances are, people that complain about it are going to pick it up anyways. You buy it, you buy it. There's, there's no difference on profits are profits. So, if you're really upset about Watchmen, just don't pick it up. But chances are people are going to pick it up anyways. So in saying that, I personally am okay with the idea of a Watchmen prequel. Comics dealing with the Watchmen characters before Watchmen the story. Now in saying that, let's look at the actual comics that are coming out. And I got a list here. Uh, now, these are going to be actually done in issues, and I believe they're going to be done monthly. Now, we have Rorschach, and I'm only going to go through the uh, writers, okay? Uh, because uh, some of the artists' names are difficult to pronounce, and you guys know how horrible I am at pronouncing stuff. So, uh, for the writers, we have Rorschach, which is four issues done by Brian Esmerella. Minutemen which is a six-issue series, written and artist, Darren Cook. The Comedian, six issues, written by Brian Esmerello. Dr. Manhattan, 
four issues written by JMS. Also doing JMS as the writer would be Night Owl, four issues written by JMS. Ozzy Mendez, six issues written by a writer that I do not know, Len Weenan, L E N, Len Weenan, W E I N. Please forgive me. My pronunciation can be horrible at times. And lastly, Silk Spectre, written by Darren Cook, but he is not the artist. Uh, some Amanda Connor is um, someone I'm not familiar with. And that's going to be four issues. So we have Ozzy Mendez, Rorschach, Minuteman, Comedian, Silk Spectre, Night Owl, and Dr. Manhattan. All comics which take place before Watchmen. In saying that, ideally, I would like to pick them all up. Ideally. And when it comes down to it, uh, maybe I will. But I have to think about something like this. Money. Money is uh, not the easiest thing to come by these days. So, I looked really long and really hard at the comics that I wanted to pick up. And there's two in particular that I wanted to get. Uh, first and foremost would be Ozzy Mendez. The reason? Because Ozzy Mendez was my favorite character from Watchmen. Unfortunately, uh, I don't know anything about the writer who is writing Ozzy Mendez or the artist that is on Ozzy Mendez. However, because he is my favorite comic book character from Watchmen, I'm going to give it a chance. The second comic is going to be Minutemen. Why? Because Minutemen is a comic that's going to be set back in the 40s or the 30s or around that time. And it's done by Darren Cook. Now, if you don't know Darren Cook's art, Darren Cook has a very old-fashioned uh, kind of art, which really is beautiful and stunning and dynamic. And I believe that his art and his writing in the time period that Minutemen take place is just going to be phenomenal. Um, it's like his work on DC New Frontier, which was great and amazing, beautiful. His work on Catwoman, great, amazing, beautiful. I love it. So, I'm looking forward to Darwin Cook's stuff on Minutemen. Now, when it comes down to the teams they took, uh, uh, that they decided to bring along, you see some big names in here. Brian Esmorello, Darwin Cook, JMS. Um, it's not like they're pulling out uh, no-name people to be artists and to be writers on these comics. They're bringing in an all-star team in here. So, um, with that all-star lineup, I feel a little bit more comfortable with them doing this. Down to it, yeah, um... Before Watchmen, I think, will be a good series. I don't think it's going to be as good as Watchmen, but I think it will be a good series. It will be enjoyable, and it will be fun. Uh, they did bring an all-star team of writers and, and uh, artists, and it should turn out well. I'm only going to pick up two. Maybe if I get more money, I'll pick up the rest. We'll see. So, with that said, what's your opinions on Before Watchmen? Do you think it's a good idea or a bad idea? And in addition to that, which comics will you pick up if you decide to? I'm going to end this review here. This is Andrew saying peace out for now.